Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. This beginner workout is perfect if you're just starting out or just getting back into fitness. We're gonna hit the total body in the workout today. A little bit of cardio, a little bit of strength, a great combination of everything. Your format will be 40 seconds of work with 15 seconds to transition, and it will be a no repeat workout, so we're only doing every exercise only once. Grab a variety of dumbbells for the workout today. I'm also gonna use something to sit on, so you can grab a stable chair, bench, or box. All right, we'll start you with a warm up and end with a cool down. All right, if you're looking for a plan or a program to take your fitness to the next level, our beginner Kickstarter might be right for you. Click or tap the card at the top of the screen and check that one out. Okay, are you ready to move daily? Let's do it. Okay, you can put either strength or high intensity intervals on your watch. It's gonna be a combination of both. Though not super high intensity today, but there's no like beginner workout cardio and strength option on my watch. So <laughs> you just, you pick what you can. You pick what's available. One more here. Great, reach across and tap. All right, reach it up and over. Let's go into a single arm circle right here. Reach it nice and backwards here. Switch directions. And switch your side, circle back. And circle forward. Let's go into a nice roundhouse. Up and around, getting that ball and socket in the hip warmed up. And we're gonna do some low kicks. Same side right here. If you can't kick high, just kick a little lower. Swing those arms. Five more on this side. Switch your side. We'll go to some heel digs. Heel is up, toe is up. Sweep and then alternate sides. Just a gentle little stretch on that hamstring and calf and Achilles heel. here. Let's go into a little calf raise up to the tiptoes here for 15. Five more. And hands on the shoulder, rotate here. Cardio and strength, no repeat, here we go. We're gonna start with your chair or bench or box. So have a seat. We're gonna do a narrow sit squat. Sit down and into a wide sit squat. Shoulders back, nice and tall. All right, so sit and press, reach the hips back, wide. Narrow and wide, 
I'm going to the corner so you can see exactly what I'm doing here. Good. And wide press. Now I don't want you to lean forward. You're not, you're not here, okay? And I also don't want you to put your hands on your legs if you can. Just wide and narrow right here. Right, grabbing some light weights, maybe twos or threes, somewhere in that range. Okay, we're gonna overhead press and pec fly right here. Knees are soft, elbows at 90 degrees. Press it over and bring it to the front. Wide press and squeeze. Now what you don't want to do is look up at the weights. Just keep your eyes facing forward, facing front. Let's set those down, move it into a little cardio here. You've got two knees, and then we'll switch two knees right there. Stay tall. This will kick the heart rate up a little bit. Let's work. One, two, switch, one, two. Take that squat that we just did. Now we're gonna do an air squat. If you'd like to stick with the bench or a chair, feel free. Otherwise, we'll start with a narrow squat, shoulders back, just a little one, then wide. So you're here and open, low and close. Narrow and open, low and close. Narrow, open, wide and close. You got it. Moving into some biceps. All right, threes, fives, eights, maybe somewhere in that range. We're gonna do a pinwheel curl right across the body where the palm is facing the ceiling. Shoulders back and knees are soft. We curl it up, flex at the top. Don't turn your torso, keep it facing the front. And set those down, moving to your cross behind knee. So it's that grapevine, elbow to knee. If you don't want to do the walk behind, just stay right here. Let's work, one, two, three, and tap. That's it.
I, Y, and T. We're gonna create that letter. I'm just gonna hold light weights, but you could do this without weight. Hinge at the waist, create the I, then the Y, and then the T. Here we go. You're up, and up to the diagonal, and out to the lateral. Now, if that hurts your back, you could do this fully standing up instead of hinged forward. We're hitting a little bit more of our back muscles with this hinged forward position. Very good. Back to your seat. We're gonna do some uh, assisted pistol squats. So one foot is at the tiptoe, the other foot is flat, and we're gonna stand straight up. Here we go. So I want the majority of your body weight to be on that flat foot, all right? If you can, you can lift up this leg here. Okay, that's a lot more challenging. So just the tiptoe is good. And one more on this side, and switch your tiptoe. Good. Okay, we're gonna do a duck under front punch and walk. You've got four punches forward, four back. You can stay stationary if you don't want to travel. Duck it low and punch. One, two, three, four. Now back for four, three, two, and one. Let's go. standing. Find something to hold on to for balance if you need. Stationary leg is soft. We're going to do a little glute kickback and I'll call halfway. We'll switch legs, shoulders back, and we lift and lift. You can hinge forward slightly. Don't lean all the way forward. It's just a slight hinge. And you just want to come as high in the back as you feel that glute activating. In three, two, one, switch legs, and we kick. Back to those light weights. A nice little Step tap with a tricep kick out. You can do this without weights again. I've just got my twos. Step tap. You're here. Kick and flex those triceps. Don't shrug. Let's go into a full round the world lateral raise. Again, lightweight or no weight, twos, threes, or fives. Palms face me and all the way to the ceiling and slow return. So you're here, two, slow, two, one, two, one, two.
I want the dumbbell to come to your side of your thigh. That way it's a dead stop when you start. You're not using momentum, you're not swinging to get the dumbbell up. And set those weights down. Into cardio. Two feet in the front, two feet in the back. All right, front and back. Here we go, and tap, tap, back, back. I'm grabbing a little bit heavier weight, maybe eights, but you can do lighter, threes or fives. We're hinging forward at the waist with a flat back. You're going to row, stand, and hit a hammer curl there. Hinge here, we row, full stand, then you hammer. Great. Retract the shoulder blades and squeeze. Same weights to do a palms up bicep curl. Go lighter if you like. Elbows are tucked into the side and it's a full curl all the way up and all the way down with that full range of motion. Knees are soft. Curl it here and slow. Don't let those shoulders fall forward. Let's hit one more cardio before our water break. Again, you can hold weights or not. We're gonna do some cardio kicks with the front punch, so alternating kick with a punch right there. Here we go, you kick and punch. Well, it's not really a kick, but you know, <laughs> it's a lift. Let's go. Very good, you've got 30 second water break. Pause the video if you need a longer rest. Grab a drink. All right, bring the heart rate down and get ready for the second half. I'm gonna move into a static stationary lunge. If you can't do lunges, feel free just to do a standing uh, hamstring curl and leg extension, okay? And switch when I call it halfway. Otherwise, we're here and we drop and press. Stay tall. You don't want to lean forward. You want straight up and down. One more here and switch your side. All 
right. Hands are on your chair or your bench or couch. And this time we'll do that leg extension, but we're gonna come right up to that 90 degrees. I'll call halfway on the leg. Nice flat back. And we lift. And lift. Don't arch the back here. Three, two, one, switch legs. Try to keep your hips facing the ground. to a crush complex, which is a bicep curl, shoulder press, overhead tricep extension. So it's all three, twos, threes, or fives here would be good probably. These are soft, we curl. Press, overhead tricep, watch your skull, and down. Biceps, shoulders, and triceps, a great arm combination here. those elbows in. Let's go into a knee repeater. This will kick the heart rate up. I want you nice and low. In this lower squat position, we're going to drag the knee. If you can't squat low, same side, knee drive, standing tall. Otherwise, you're here. I'll call half. Three, two, one, switch your leg and drop. Grabbing those light weights, shake out that glute. All right, we're gonna do one press, two knees. One press, two knees. All right, you can eliminate the knees if you'd like and just hit the press. So we're one, two, switch it, one, two. Stay tall. Set those weights down. We're gonna do a bus driver front raise. So I'm gonna hold one five, shoulders low and back. We'll bring it up to 90, turn, turn, center and down. Lift it here, turn, turn, center and down. Each time I come down, I stick my chest out at the bottom, right here. The weight's too heavy, switch weights. Even use body weight here. Grabbing light weights again for my single double lateral raise. All right, stick your chest out. We'll go single, single, then we'll do both at the same time. I've got twos here, nice and light. Single here, other side, now double here, up. One, two, double here. 
Stick your chest out. Don't shrug those shoulders. you're here reaching hands overhead if you can't do that and you want to go over here that's fine as well otherwise get those knees up and we climb climb sides. Knees are soft. Sink down into those glutes a little bit. Here we go. We jab, pivot and cross, duck under. One, two, duck. One, two, duck. One more here and switch your side. Jab, cross, duck. tricep. I've got my five there. You can use a two, a three, or a five. You come in overhead here and press to the ceiling. I'll call half. Press and flex. I didn't get that. Could you try again? So I'm right sort of beside my head. That's it. All right, switch hands. jacks. All right, you're here. We're going to come low and reach. You could stay here if you don't want to squat. All right, otherwise, let's keep the heart rate back up. Bring it low and jack low. Here and switch. 
Moving into that bicep curl, reverse grip press. You can hold twos, threes, and fives. Palms face the ceiling. We'll curl, watch your face, and press elbows in. Here, press and down. Setting those down, I'm gonna grab an eight, which you can go lighter if you like. We're gonna hinge forward at the waist into a single side wide row to hit the back uh, shoulder muscles. You're there or you can prop yourself on your chair. So we pull out to 90 degrees on the elbow. I'll call half on the arm. Don't swing at the bottom. One more on this side. Now switch, and up to 90, back is flat, stick your chest out. Today, cardio, strength, abs. Best of all, you've moved your body daily, and that beats being sedentary. So, well done, everyone. Reach those hips back. Doing great. You have 10 more seconds here. Work hard. In three, two, one, and done. You move daily in your perfect total body beginner workout. Thanks for joining. Enjoy for a stretch. If you can, we'll stretch and lengthen everything out. Nice work, everyone. Let's start by stretching our pecs out. So find a wall, the back of your couch or a chair, something that you can put your arm on that open up into this pec muscle. Often a very tight muscle from sitting at a computer or using a phone. If you do that, which we all do, <laughs> it's important to stretch and lengthen through that muscle. It's likely shortened, which can make our back weak, right? So the goal is to strengthen the back muscles and stretch through the pec muscles so that we don't uh, get bad posture. We want to make sure that our posture is upright and that's a great way to begin to improve it is to lengthen here, strengthen here, lengthen, strengthen. And we did that in today's workout for sure. All right, let's go into this hinge forward position, reach up, push your thumb up to the ceiling there. A great all standing workout. Sometimes that's nice to do if you're like in a hotel room. I was in a hotel room once and I was running a challenge at the time. <laughs> and one of the challenge things for that day was to do 50 burpees or 100 burpees or something nuts like that. Anyway, I put that camera down and I started doing these burpees and I, would, I jumped down for the first one and there was a cheesy underneath the bed. And I jumped down for the second one and then I found some money underneath and garbage and <laughs> it was really gross. Uh, stretch through the pecs again, drop those shoulders low. Try to reach back behind and link those fingers. All right, now link in front, round through the back. Try to separate your shoulder blades here, gently pulling side to side. All right, uh, normally I don't write down what my caloric burn was, but I'm gonna get in the habit of just telling you what mine was for the beginner workouts instead. Uh, 207 is on my watch for active calories. So that typically includes that warm up, this cool down, you know, it'll be a little bit higher after the cool down's done, but just so I don't forget, 207. 
So remember, you always want to take those with a grain of salt, right? The trackers, they generally track on the higher side of things. And so, you know, it's good to measure or compare against yourself. Knee is soft, hinge forward. But I wouldn't compare and contrast against other people because everyone's heart rate variability is different as well, which is going to factor into the number that you get on the screen here. So just take it with a grain of salt. But sometimes I know some, some of us like to know that number. How many calories am I burning? Switch sides, hinge forward. But we did a little bit of strength today, which of course heart rate's not gonna get as high during the strength components. It's gonna get higher when you elevate the heart rate through cardio or lifting heavier. So sometimes your calorie burn won't be as high if you're doing resistance training. Cross over, reach up, and hinge forward. However, you do get that afterburn, uh, which means as we've torn the muscle fibers, microscopic tears, they require time to repair, and that process of reparation actually utilizes more energy and burns more calories as the muscle moves through repairing itself. Reach up, cross the other way, and hinge. So you, you burn additional calories post-workout uh, that you may not do with cardiovascular exercise. You more burn in the moment with cardio and in the moment and after with resistance training. Unless you've worked out really, really intensely and done high intensity intervals, then you think too, uh, heart needs to recover from something as intense as that. This wasn't that, this was more zone two cardio. Um, more in that fat burning zone as well. All right, thanks for joining, that was good. Nice way to move daily today. I'll see you folks in the next workout.